The philosopher Wittgenstein said, the limits of my language mean the limits of my world. But then this inkling kid said, Whoa, so now I don't know what to believe. What we do know is that the world of games is full of dialects, languages and freaky speech patterns we really wish we could replicate. To think we spent all those years learning how to ask directions to the swimming pool in French when we could have been learning how to call someone mammoth feet. Magisch by the mammoth way. Ah, <laughs> 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 burn! Here are the in-game languages you wish you could speak. Blah, 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 blah. There's only so many conversations about the weather that an all-powerful god can handle. So, to prevent players from having to listen to hours of tedious small talk, and to prevent themselves from having to record thousands of lines of dialogue in multiple languages, the makers of The Sims created a whole new language called Simlish. To a speaker of a real language, Simlish sounds like remixed versions of actual words with lots of burbling nonsense. Basically how you feel like you're speaking when you're talking to someone you've had a crush on for ages. <laughs> Fortunately for us, we sort of know what is being said in all the nonsense, thanks to those handy little speech bubbles. And we get some insight as to how well a conversation is going, thanks to reactions such as these. <laughs> Ultimately though, we would really like to know the ins and outs of these conversations. What is it about video games that someone really likes? How funny was that joke that someone made? Dom Sabuna, Arps, Aga Aga, Zarpa! Boss and move, enough. <laughs> Classic, I think. Although there have been translations, such as Lily Allen re-recording her song Smile in Simlish, apparently this fake language was made up almost on the spot by voice actors Stephen Kieran and Jerry Lawler. What? But I just paid for eight weeks worth of Simlish lessons! The region of Skyrim is famously chatty. Where else will citizens just wander up to you in the street to let you know what's going on in their lives? I once killed six men single-handed while rescuing my brothers in arms from ambush by an imperial patrol. Cheers, buddy, I'll bear that in mind. But it's no wonder that the residents of Skyrim have so much to say when you consider the rich melting pot of languages that can be found here. For instance, there's Ta'agra, the native tongue of the Khajiit. We are creatures of the desert. The north wind chills us to the bone or Gel, the language of the Scaly Argonians, which, fun fact, has no past or future tense, so good luck organising a cinema trip with this individual. You have questions? But of all the dialects at hand, the one you definitely want to get a textbook on is Dovazul, also known as Dragon Language because of the way that it's spoken by, well, dragons. And who wouldn't want to speak to dragons? Get their ancient wisdom on the best livestock to steal? I'm not really sure what dragons do now that I think about it. Never mind though, because fluency in Dovazul lets you do much more than chat with fiery, town-destroying beasts. A dragonborn's command of this grunted language lets you use shouts, words or phrases that grant mystic powers, like the ability to run with the speed of a whirlwind. <laughs> or shout animals off cliffs. See ya! Horse. Yes, Dovazul is a very loud language, incorporating more incoherent shouting than an English stag party in Magaluf trying to order fish and chips at 3 in the morning. But for all the angry bellowing, it's also weirdly poetic. Consider, for instance, that Skyrim's theme song is sung in the dragon language. Plus, we checked, and there's a dragon translation for cats are great, so these giant fire lizards can't be all that bad. It's Kaz Los Lots! Wow, they did not like that. Kids are always coming up with new twists on language. How else would we get phrases like turnt, yas, and I can't even with you right now, which I'm told really do mean something. 
But the kids in the Splatoon series are in a league of their own when it comes to trendy language. Known as Inklings, these fashion-forward young creatures can transform at will into squids and have a gurgly dialect to match. Sadly, though the written form is occasionally familiar, the spoken version of Inkling is basically incomprehensible, partly because it sounds like it's coming from inside a toilet that's being picked up on a 1940s transistor radio, and partly because Inkling is total nonsense, so it doesn't matter how much water you gargle, you'll never learn to speak it. No, I'm sorry, that didn't mean anything. While we've no more hope of speaking Inkling than a squid has of playing piano, it's still one of our favourite game dialects, being way more fun to listen to than other fictional languages. I mean, could Klingon handle a rap breakdown of this magnitude? And the Inklings themselves are so gosh darn trendy with their neon hats and cool trainers, that if you want to stay relevant in the far future, it's got to be worth at least trying to understand them, right? Maybe they speak emoji or something. Squid emoji, thumbs up emoji. Now, can I be in your pop band or what? <sighs> that means no. Wait a watch now. Watch now. Ah, this I have son. As a holy gala, heart, nasa, tigri, luguam. The Far Cry series has traditionally been set in the here and now, allowing for modern conveniences such as the English language and automatic weapons. However, when the makers of Far Cry decided to take their series back in time, closer to the dawn of man than the dawn of technology, they didn't just have to worry about how to replace all the guns with an owl. Not everyone liked the lack of firepower, but I thought the new abilities were a hoot. One of the other challenges for the game makers was their game being set in a time before language was as complex as it is now. To avoid the immersion-breaking use of modern languages, the developers instead decided to design an entirely new ancient language, based on the reconstructed Proto-Indo-European language with different dialects for the three tribes of Wenja, Udam and Izila. Wul, Hers, Udam, Salwa Tija, Uanna, Winja Waida. Core cool, Ubisoft, when did you find the time to do all that? Ellen. <laughs> I have a sickness. To show that they weren't messing about with this, the developers even constructed the Easy Wenger phrasebook to help players understand certain lines without the need for subtitles. It included a phonetic guide, a brief introduction to Wenger grammar and syntax, and a collection of words and phrases that they would come across in the game. All the things we'd need to actually learn the language, which we won't. Which makes us feel crappy, which means body or flesh in Wenger. Hey, we learned something! So much conflict is caused by failures in communication, like when Uncle Joe didn't understand the aubergine emoji and really derailed that trip to the garden centre. But that's got nothing on the bitter conflict between the Horde and the Alliance in the Warcraft series, who have warred for generations ever since the Orcish Horde invaded the land of Azeroth without making it clear in advance that they'd been twisted and misled by the nefarious Burning Legion. Many years later in MMORPG World of Warcraft, relations between the races who are part of the human-led alliance and those who follow the Orcish Horde are still very much strained, and each side uses a different universal tongue, namely Common and Orcish respectively. Why can't the Horde and the Alliance talk to each other? For the same reason that my colleagues and I are banned from renting jet skis. It just can't be trusted. Game maker Blizzard decided that letting players who had joined opposing factions speak to each other was a recipe for online abuse, so they removed the ability entirely in the game's very early days. 
As such, if you try to speak to a player on the other side of the faction divide, your message is randomly translated into garbled nonsense. And because the game spits out different gibberish each time, there's no hope of back-translating some kind of improvised speech. Although, players have figured out a few phrases that produce readable text. But just imagine what could happen if we could reach across the barriers of war with a common language. What rifts might be healed? That sounds like Night Elf talk! Get him! Oh. Yeah! 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 You know you've made a true friend when you can go up to them, make incoherent noises, and they know exactly what you mean. Oh, Luke, I know, I know. I wish there were more porgs in Star Wars as well. I was choking to death. I know, it's okay. Porgs. Much like us, Spiral Mountain residents Banjo and Kazooie know each other very well, so you can understand them understanding each other despite the fact that they only speak in single noises. <laughs> However, the problem is they then have to embark on a sibling saving adventure, chatting to all sorts of characters who all make their own unique noise. Do this dynamic duo have to learn a new language each time they meet a new person? If so, that's pretty impressive. Although, the good thing about each of these languages is that you only need to learn one noise to learn an entirely new language, unlike French, which is like 40 words. And it's my theory that there is a secret third hero who accompanies them on adventures, translating for them on the fly, subtitling their every conversation and helping them save the day. I'd like to thank you, Secret Translator, for all the hard work you've done. Uh, actually, Alan, I'm pretty sure it was just to save space on the N64 cartridge, uh, and also it meant that they could localise it with different languages. It, it's just easier. Oh, so it's not the Secret Translator? No, I, I mean, of course not. Oh. Are you, are you all right? Huh, huh. <laughs> Music is its own kind of language, with its own punctuation, sentence structure, and even swearing. The clarinet. But if that's true, then Loco Rocos, the bouncing eponymous heroes of the Loco Roco series of games, are doubling up linguistically by singing in their own language the whole time you're playing. If you were raised an English speaker, you could be forgiven for thinking that the words sung in this game were in Japanese, seeing as the game hails from Japan. But in fact, the game's creator, Sutomo Kuono, invented a language for the Loco Rocos by mashing together katakana, which is the written form of Japanese, and words from languages around the world to produce sounds that don't belong to any individual language. <laughs> <laughs> when layered over a lethally catchy tune, the effect is really weird. You'll probably get snatches of what sound like a few words here and there as your brain tries to make sense of what it's hearing. There, they were saying, Nutella, Nutella. What is it, little Loco Rocos? You want me to eat an entire jar of Nutella? Well, if you say so. Okay, well, I'll start and you just tell me very, very clearly when I've had enough. Although actually understanding Loco Roco ease is impossible, we wish we could speak it just to finally make sense of one of the catchiest soundtracks in gaming history, especially the relentlessly cheerful title theme. Sadly, the nonsense lyrics mean this gibberish ditty just sticks in your head all the more, until, inevitably, you find yourself starting to talk to the tune. Oh no, it's happening now to me. This is going to be hard to stop, I'm panicking. Please, I don't want this help. So there are some of the gaming languages we wish we'd learned at school instead of French. I mean, I didn't even learn the word for rabbit, and you'd think I'd be lapin that up. Oh. Uh, uh, and he can't even boo, he's just like head in hands. 
Uh, but can you think of any other languages that you've come across in games that you think, oh, I wish I had a cool language, I wish I'd, you know, be able to speak that fluently. It'd be really useful. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, you should check out these videos here, these magical videos. You should watch them all. I don't know why I'm singing. This is about languages. Uh, but one thing that is a universal language is the subscribe or <laughs> that, that works. It's the universal language for excellence. So click that and you'll be excellent. Bye.